Oh, oh, there he is. Yay. Oh, he's pushing. Oh, oh that's oh. sad. All right, get it. Is it hot? Is it hot? Oh no! He pushed his chest in. Now he's got even more abs. He's he's got a bit of a chest cavity problem. <laughs> oh well, that's neat. Welcome to Universal Orlando Resort. It's been a while since we've been here. Yeah. Just got off our staycation, and now we feel like we want a little bit of Universal in our lives. So unfortunately, Halloween Horror Nights was canceled this year due to the global situation that we're in. Uh, but they did open the Tribute Store at Universal Studios. So we're gonna go check that out uh, and get a little bit of flavor of Halloween Horror Nights. Horror Nights Fog. Sure, and Horror Nights Fog. It has that distinct smell. Sure does. Anyway, if you're ready to go check out the Tribute Store, let's go. Ah, we have entered an empty Universal Studios. Yeah, we're not even in the park yet, and it already feels empty. Makes all the difference in the world coming on the weekday. Now, we have been seeing reports about it being super crowded at Universal. But that seems like it's only on the weekend because every time we come here on the weekday, it's pretty dead. And here we are in a very empty, very empty theme park. Jen's got her pep in her step because she's heading to the tribute store. So there it is, the tribute store. It looks as though it's a complete, not walk-on attraction, but walk-in attraction. At first we're greeted with this decaying shrine. Oh, the says that way, so we need to go that way. <laughs> wow. That is fun. What's your favorite? The spiky cat. The spiky cat? The spiky cat. Oh, check it out. They got Frankenstein. That is pretty cool. Wow. And it looks like they've got a Franken mold. Jen, I think I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah. Check this out, says Franken mold. Witness the horror. Yours for only six dollars, and you get one of these. I know that this company operates the ones at Bush Gardens, and I've seen those. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get one. What do you think, Jen? Yeah, he's kind of cool. He is kind of neat. Oh, I'm definitely getting this. It says Universal Studios on it. That's going to be fun. Oh, there it goes. goes. Oh, how gruesome. Oh, it's so loud. It is loud. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. How hot is that? Very hot. Can you make it into a candle? <laughs> Frankenstein candle? Frankenstein candle. Oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, oh, there he is. Yay. Oh, he's pushing. Oh, oh that's oh. sad. All right, get it. Is it hot? Is it hot? Oh no! He pushed his chest in now. He's got even more abs. He's he's got a bit of a chest cavity problem. <laughs> oh well, that's neat. So we've got some new Universal Monsters merchandise. So this shirt's 35. That's really cool. This shirt here, Dracula, is 35 as well. All these scary monsters are 34. And this Frankenstein is $35. So we've got these really cool shirts. They look like comic books. $28.
but look at all this detail. That's cool. It's kind of neat. That's I don't know. Cool. That's cool. Soul gripping hard, that's for sure. <laughs> so 28 and it's black light reflective and I will not be purchasing this shirt, that's Does for sure. It's got a clown. Yeah, and I have to record it, so. Remember the uh, time you met the clowns at Horror Night? Yeah, what about this pin? $12 for the pin. They've got this cool poster, it's $17 and I think that'd be a cool Halloween decoration. Yeah. It's really it's like neat. A shirt. And then you've got these lanyards. But it's kind of like a comic book inside. I like the comic book vibe. It's really cool. And then you've got this shirt for $28. King of the Silver, Silver Screen. And then you got the pass holder tee. It's $28. And it's got the pass holder logo because we have to show off we're pass holders, of course. <laughs> Brandon, I think you're going to have to take over. <laughs> Nothing's going to move in here. Here you go. I don't want to. <laughs> Scary clown alert, Jen. <laughs> they got this Halloween Horror Nights Jack Raglan shirt for a price of $32. Jen, I can see you wearing that. <laughs> so they got this hooded sweatshirt. It says Halloween Horror Nights Artist Signature Series. And on the back, it's got Jack the Clown and a signature of the artist. Interesting. Not the price, $50. And they got some cups that say Storyteller, the Director, and Jack, and the Caretaker, $12. Oh, and they got some pins. Exclusive annual pass holder pin. And there it is, $12. And then here's a face mask. I would imagine it's the same price of all their other face masks. And they've got the 30 Years of Fears lanyard. I like that they added in their own IPs. Yeah. And you could wear Jack the Clown on your feet for $30. And if posters are your thing, they have all different types of posters. So the, these posters are 15, and this is the special poster, which is 30 over there. Where? Check out this cool pumpkin wall. I bet you it makes for a nice Instagram. It sure does. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, it does. And they have this Universal Studios Florida Halloween Horror Nights 1992 shirt for a price of $28. So they have this Universal Studios Fright Nights 1991 and it says on the sleeve, 30 years of fears, $28. Now, if you're afraid of clowns like Jen, shield your eyes from what I'm about to show you. A Halloween Horror Nights 2000 Universal Studios shirt with Jack on it for $28. You could even get his face covering for $6. Or you can get his socks or you can hide in fear like Jen. Oh, you can get the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man hat for $45. Jen, do you think that counts as a face covering? No, you're gonna die, <laughs> Now it's time to go on this big cat. You ready, Jen? Yeah, I like cats. To get swallowed by Thomas? Yeah. So if you're interested in the history of Halloween Horror Nights, they've got a list of all the different Posters from all the years. It used to only be three nights. Oh. oh, you're right. It used to only be three nights. Boy, have times changed. So 2015, I think, was my first Halloween Horror Night because I vividly remember going into the Jack House, and then Chance was the next one. That was our first one together. That was our first one together. I think my favorite one though was 2018. This is my favorite. That one was a fun one. I remember that year being yeah. very fun. Like and there's 2019 last year. So now we're in the creepy attic scene. A lot of props. Makes you wonder where they acquire all these props. And they have these beating heart sour gummies. Look at them beat. That is fun. 
My photos aren't going to do it justice. <laughs> that is cool. And they have these vegan Oreo brownie skulls. Look at the size of that donut. No, you're not allowed. Tribute donut. Oh, I like the jack-o'-lantern. It's cute. Bacon, cheddar, scallion, waffle sticks. They got Frankenstein treats. Red velvet blood spatter cake pops. And a werewolf chocolate pop. Zombie cookie dough. So there is a wait to get into the next room, so we're gonna meander around at some of the creepy details, creepy photos, and creepy dolls, and creepy music. So now we're in the Beetlejuice room. Check out this shirt for $28. It's a Beetlejuice shirt. Check it out, they've got roses for Adam and roses for Barbara. Nice nods to the movie Beetlejuice. And there's a handbook for the recently deceased. For how much? 25. 25. I've never seen this movie. Oh, you should. Yeah. Creepy Beetlejuice socks. Here's that shirt from earlier in a better lit environment. Can I sit in there? It's pretty neat. Oh, well, they even have hats. Beetlejuice hat and a Beetlejuice mask. Looks like they even got a pin for $12. Oh look, the lanyard. That's pretty cool. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, shh. I, I'm not going to say it third time. So there's a creepy Beetlejuice as a snake. I have to say, that was probably the scariest character in the entire movie. Oh, check out that creepy door with the green light radiating from it. Jen, you need to see Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, don't open that door. And there is Adam and Barbara hanging from the rafters. That is pretty creepy. Ah, yes. The great ending to Beetlejuice. Okay, so we're back outside of the Tribute Store. Always fun to check up on Horror Nights merchandise. Check out how empty it is. Definitely come on the weekdays, guys. I've seen pictures of the weekends and it's a completely different atmosphere. Oh, they've got the jean jacket. This is Universal Studios for a price of $75. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's embroidered on there. Yeah. As with a jean jacket. That's typically the case. That's pretty cool. Jen's gonna rock the jean jacket. That's kind of cool. You look pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> what do you think? It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. That is neat. So actually, I think Brandon's gonna get it. I like it too. It makes me feel like I'm a director on a movie set. Yeah. Well. <laughs> get off my movie set. Yes, get off my movie set. Chop, chop. <laughs> So it's good to know the pass holder lounge is open 11 to 4 only. So we are past 4 o'clock. So I got the denim jacket yeah. with the Universal Marquee Retro logo. Because I like denim. I like denim jackets and I feel like a director when I wear them. So. Okay. As we're leaving the park, we decided to grab a bite to eat at one of our favorite restaurants on Universal property, the NBC Sports Grill and Brew. Also, we decided to get some Voodoo Donuts, but that's for dessert. And we'll uh, we'll show you what we got. We got four donuts, but we'll show you what we got later, after dinner. Yeah. Gotta have dinner first. So, a bit of a change of plans. Uh, NBC Sports Grill was only serving appetizers with their regular menu coming, I think, Sunday? And then we started looking around and noticed that Big Fire's closed, Vivo Italian's closed, uh, Cowfish. Cowfish is closed, and the trend is that a lot of places are closed. Now we're here on a Wednesday, it's very tough to find a good dinner place when everything's closed. Yeah. So now we've got donuts and no dinner. 
I'm sure we'll find some. We could probably, maybe Margaritaville or Hard Rock's open. Yeah. Well, we'll go check those two. Okay. Let's see. I'm really hungry. That's a bummer. Yeah. So keep that in mind that check ahead to make sure that the restaurants are actually open if you plan eating at CityWalk because uh, it almost seems like they've closed some restaurants or limited the hours since this reopening. Yeah. That's a bummer. Well, that's going to do it for us here at Universal where we went to go check out the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store. Jen, what did you think about it? I miss Horror Nights. I know, but it's it's nice that they still offered something. It was a very faint fog smell. <laughs> I don't think there was any fog in there. No, I thought there was. Uh, we also got some Voodoo Donuts. I think we're going to share those on Instagram, though. Yeah. They seem to do really well, us sharing what's inside the pink little box. Oh, there's my leftovers. Yeah, it's your leftovers from food. I know it was a short video today, but I think it was important that we made a trip down here just to show you some of the Horror Nights stuff. You no, know, not everyone's into horror and scariness, but uh, if you're a local resident, it, it's pretty fun to... It's kind of a part of the fall in it Orlando. It is fall. <laughs> if you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It lets us know that you enjoyed today's content. And Jen, tell them what to do if they want to join our adventures. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to become a super subscriber! Until next time, see, see you real soon! soon.